we're here to talk about this is 40, and uh, 40 is a, is, is, a, is a word that Leslie's character can't even say. Yeah. In, in the movie, she pronounces it as 3-8. <laughs> um, uh, but yet you chose to go ahead and call it this is 40, like put people on notice. Didn't the marketing guy say to you, can't we call it this is 19, mm -hmm. this is... <laughs> well, I, this is how out of tune I am. I thought that was the hook, this is 40. I just, I, you know, I used to think uh, maybe I wasn't uh, obsessed with the number 40 or the age 40, and then I realized that 50% of my movies have the number 40 in the title. <laughs> so something is happening. Uh, but I, I don't know, I, I, we'll, we'll find out. I guess I, there is like some patter out there of, you know, do I have to be 40 to get it? But that's why there's people of all ages in the movie. Uh, you know, Megan Fox is in the movie, our kids are in the movie, my grandma who's 90 is in the movie. Right. So, uh, so we cover all of the ages. You don't try and make 40 look cool. And so, Paul is a remarkably good looking person, would you agree with me? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's why he plays me would on you TV. Agree with uh, <laughs> Paul is ageless. I have people all the time say, say to me like, Paul doesn't age, what's going on? And so when we did the movie, I always ask him to gain weight and he never will put on enough for me. I like a, I like a, a hearty Paul. And, uh, and you I, say, <laughs> you, you know, that's a, another way of saying it. You always say to me, I want fat rud. <laughs> <laughs> fat rud. But then tell me about the virgin, the virgin Oh, well, when we, uh, I, so, so <laughs> Paul was uh, on the heavier side when we did virgins. I asked you to be heavy then. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I like, uh, <laughs> Because I, I never cared for skinny, like gorgeous Rudd. Probably I was just jealous when he was younger, and uh, and so he gained weight. For he took it too far. He he took it too far. The he studio, got, he got the really studio <laughs> stepped in. Yeah. yeah. Really After two days of shooting the Forty Old Virgin, the studio shut the movie down. Said we don't like fat Rudd. Yeah, yeah. They said, what are we going to do about fat Rudd? I'm like, well, we're shooting. He's fat. What are we going to do? I mean, uh, and they thought Steve Carell looked like a serial killer, and. Uh, <laughs> and because he was wearing kind of a Jeffrey Dahmer tan members only jacket. Uh, but, the, but the first time you see him when in the speed dating yeah, in scene the is when he's fat red and then all, all of the other scenes he's handsome. Yeah, he, he lost weight. In the four <laughs> days we were shut down, I ate nothing but lettuce. <laughs> I'm interested in, you guys, uh, Leslie and Judd have worked together uh, before. I. I I personally could not paint a room with my wife. It, it just, it just would not happen. It would end in, 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 in murder, probably. <laughs> to be honest. Oh no, we hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I think, I think it, I think Laughing it was a little too hard at that. <laughs> the first scene we ever shot together in Knocked Up, we got into this fight in the movie. And um, when we finished, I, I thought like, oh, Leslie uh, hates me. Like she really, <laughs> not like the character, she hates me. <laughs> and I was saying this to, uh, to Seth. And then I think it got back to you. Mm -hmm. So that the next day, Leslie came up to me and said, I heard that you think I hate you. <laughs> and then you said, um, no, I don't. I don't hate you at all. I hate Judd. <laughs> <laughs> So I said, oh, well, okay, thank you. Are you always director and actress on the set, or are you husband and wife, or how does that work? Um, we are all of it. We're, um, we... It's complicated. It's complicated, it is. Um, we're both very passionate, and we, um, you it's know, tense. we have a lot of disagreements, tense. and... And, uh, but then we also, <coughs> you know, agree on a lot and we, we, um, we... We're not fucking around. <laughs> That's all, I mean, like, we were it's very intense. serious about doing it correctly. Mm -hmm. And we both have our ideas of what we need to accomplish during the day. And we want to make sure we both accomplish them. And so there, it's, 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 we're both in sync. Right. We basically agree on what we want to do, but we both really want to make sure it gets done right because it's so uh, vulnerable having Leslie in the movie and our kids in the movie. Like, you can't make a crappy movie with your family because that's really embarrassing. There's this whole, you negotiate the gift detente. 
We you, wrote an article about that for the New York Times one year. Yeah, we're, we're okay, we're not doing gifts. Yeah. Except what it means is I'm not getting one. Yeah. And I'm giving one to you. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't, and, and, and in terms of like picking up those signals, most men are not real well equipped for the subtleties and nuance of yes. that particular. No, I have never cracked gifts, ever. <laughs> In fact, the article that we wrote for the New York Times a few years ago was based on the fact that for Christmas one year, or I tried to buy Leslie. It was my 30th. Oh, no, it was your birthday. For <laughs> Leslie's 30th birthday, I tried to buy her a trip. And then Leslie said, well, that's not a present if you get to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, what are you talking about? I want to take you on this trip. And then we never went on the trip. It was like, it was kiboshed as a, as a, as a concept for a present. Would a trip, would a present been, I'll send you on a trip? Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a, a good present. You're going to Cabo. Yeah. yeah, but see, the thing is, though, if you did that, yeah. then, then there'd be the jujitsu, <clears throat> you just want to get rid of me mm-hmm. for a That's couple true. of days. It's very elaborate. It's a, it's a, it's a, the, her, 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 her trap is, I, I, I never see it. It's invisible. And, the, the, and it's because I bought Leslie such terrible gifts at the beginning. Uh, when I was a young man and I didn't know uh, how to treat a lady, I, uh, I only bought her gifts that I kind of wanted, you know? Things I just Tom wanted Petty. in the house. Yeah, Tom, Tom Petty box Petty set. Box set. <laughs> 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 and Leslie looked at me like, what is the matter with you? And I swear at that time, I didn't know the Tom Petty box set wasn't an awesome gift for your... That's an awesome gift. <laughs> Tom Petty, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to learn a lot. There's a lot to learn along the way. When you get in the mo- middle of a movie like this, what you set out to do, it's kind of a sequel mm-hmm. to Knocked Up, or uh, how should we describe that? Well, there was Mary Tyler Moore, <laughs> and then there was Rhoda. Right. And there was uh, Mary Tyler Moore, and then there was the Lou Grant show. Right. And then there was uh, Cheers, and there was Frasier. Right. So we, we were in the grand tradition of TV uh, spin-offs, uh, and, uh, which I always loved. I always loved when they would give someone else their, their own show off of a show. Right. And so that's what we did. It's not like you switched up the cast. I mean, did yeah. something happen with Knocked Up, uh, uh, apart from the fact that it's a wonderful movie that made a lot of money, that did a great thing for both of your careers, uh, what else brought you back to it? I, you know, I, I started thinking about how much was happening in our, in our home and all the different things we were struggling with and looking at all of our friends and they all seemed to be having a common experience. So I thought, oh, I should probably write about that. I love movies like Parenthood and I'm sure we have a good version of it. And I started thinking about different actors. Like, oh, it'd be fun to work with that person. I never worked with them before. Uh, and then just one night I thought, oh, it's, it's just Pete and Debbie. It's, it's, it's ready to go because uh, people, after Knocked Up, they always were especially interested in their relationship, and, and, and they would quote a lot of the scenes, the Fantasy League Baseball, and Doorman, 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 and all those issues seemed very resonant with people. And I thought it would be interesting to see our kids five years later to just see where, you know, Googling murder leads you, uh, and, and, and that Maud was in this time frame which had a lot of intensity to it and uh, I don't know it's I mean it's probably like a reckless act to do it uh, only now that it's done is it seemed super crazy to have have done it but the area seemed really interesting and they're my favorite actors so why not and you don't like change and I don't like change I don't want to meet people I don't want to meet kids other people's kids I don't want to meet any man other than Paul <laughs> for the rest of my life so, I, so to me, that's so, it was comfortable. <laughs>